While Lebanon produces little hard up-to-date economic data, the shattering position of business owners, reports from union leaders, industry groups and traders paint a picture of an economic and financial crisis without precedent since independence in 1943. Decades of corruption and financial mismanagement by warlords turned politicians and the cabal of business elites combined with a greedy banking sector to plunge Lebanon's rentier economy into its worst crisis in living memory. More than 300,000 jobs in the private sector have been shed since mid-October when protests fueled by worsening economic conditions erupted against the political elite. Experts have agreed that it's a social catastrophe. This is the heaviest one-shot drop since the end of the civil war in the country and there seems no end in sight. Most businesses are frozen, stuck between banks that will not cash checks and suppliers demanding payment in U.S. dollars that disappeared from the financial market. Hard-hit businesses were dealt yet another blow when Lebanon ordered malls, restaurants and other venues to close to stop the spread of the coronavirus pandemic, as well as halting flights from the worst-hit countries. Lebanon's Prime Minister Hassan Diab is holding the country's central bank governor Riyad Salemi responsible for the downward spiral of the national currency, the lira. The Prime Minister accused Salemi of pursuing opaque policies that sent the lira crashing against the dollar. The tiny Mediterranean country of about 5 million people, one of the most indebted in the world, is no longer hanging off a cliff. It is officially in freefall mode, just like its currency. Welcome to the Middle Stream, I'm Marwa Osman.